In this video, we take a look at five of the most convincing UFO sightings caught on camera. While there are many ridiculous and clearly fake videos out there, a number are very compelling and mysterious. Some of the videos on this list were shot by members of the public, while others come from official government sources, but they all show pretty convincing images. Watch on and decide for yourself. In this 9-minute video released to the public by the Chilean Navy, there is a clear flying object apparent in the sky. In the footage, which was captured by two pilots in their helicopter in November 2014, the strangely shaped object floats across the sky, drifting for the majority of the video. Later in the video, the object appears to emit huge quantities of a strange substance over the sky, making a long black streak of mysterious and unidentified material. Some official Air Force representatives have claimed to believe that this substance may have been both hot and metallic. Although the details are unclear, the craft is undoubtedly dumping large quantities of something over the sky, which is pretty troubling and strange in itself. The footage, which has been studied for two years by a Chilean panel of experts, technicians, and academics, was assumedly considered important and significant enough to be released to the general public. The Air Force have confirmed that they believe the 3D object to be controlled by intelligent design, since it moved of its own accord in a repetitive path and was not affected by the wind. The panel in charge of investigating the craft have been unable to liken the mysterious object to anything else and are thoroughly unable to say what it is. General Ricardo Bermudez of the Air Force eerily stated, We do not know what it was, but we do know what it was not. The structure of the craft is described as being flat and elongated, with two round thermal spotlights at either end. Creepily, this description matches with that of many other alleged UFO sightings from around the world. When the craft was first reported by the helicopter pilots, radars were unable to pick it up, and air traffic controllers confirmed that there shouldn't have been any other craft in the air. In various pieces of footage shot by several different people in 2011 over Jerusalem, a white light seems to hover in the sky before descending. It then appears to hover for a while before there is a large flash and the UFO moves very swiftly up into the sky. <laughs> <laughs> this fast movement is the most bizarre thing about the videos. Although some claim it to be false, if the footage is real, the craft moves away faster than is thought to be possible according to the laws of physics. So, assuming that the footage is real, it is almost impossible that this craft can be man-made. Some people have speculated that the footage may show a military drone, but this seems very unlikely given its speed. The craft floats above the Dome of the Rock, an ancient Islamic shrine in Jerusalem. Some speculate that the location of the incident, both the landmark and the city itself, may be significant in some way. Because the footage was shot from several different perspectives at the same time, it does seem that there may indeed be some truth to the claims, although it is unknown who filmed the images. Many have speculated that the creators of the separate pieces of footage are known to one another, but this cannot be confirmed either way. 
Nick Pope, former Ministry of Defense UFO investigator, said, If these images are real, they are some of the most incredible videos ever shot. And it's hard to argue with his claims. This video, which was captured on a Homeland Security thermal imaging camera, appears to show a craft moving above Rafael Hernandez Airport in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. For the majority of this video, it seems to move at a rather swift and steady pace, flying over roads, trees, the airport, and the ocean. Perhaps the most alarming thing of all is that this unidentified craft is hovering above an airport while unknowing airplanes take off from the area. Because the footage is quite unclear, it is difficult to see exactly what the aircraft is doing, but at one point it appears to enter then emerge from the ocean before splitting into two pieces and reforming as one. Some have speculated that this implies some sort of UFO technology may exist under this particular stretch of ocean. Mysteriously, and perhaps ominously, the exact origin of the video is unknown. Although it is absolutely confirmed to have come from Homeland Security cameras, many key witnesses have requested anonymity. Allegedly, an acquaintance of someone from the Air Force sent the video anonymously to Diana Shaviano, a UFO expert and sci-fi author. A group of UFO researchers from various backgrounds have since tried to interpret the footage, but are unable to reach any fulfilling or logical conclusions. The technology used to film the video, in simple terms, makes hotter things appear darker, so it seems that the craft is hot and full of energy. Although the informant cannot be confirmed and therefore cannot be fully trusted or verified, they claim that those on board the craft, which shot the footage, noticed a pinkish to reddish light before the crew began to film with their thermal imaging cameras. Perhaps most strangely of all, the footage has since been removed from and re-uploaded to YouTube. This video, shot in Tijuana, Mexico, is strangely, relatively undiscussed online. This is particularly odd given how clear the footage is. For almost six whole minutes of constant footage, one person films the object floating in the sky. It seems to be of an ovular shape and does look like the typical depiction of a UFO. Although few investigations have been undertaken in relation to the case, the craft does not appear to resemble a helicopter, airplane, balloon, or any other common flying craft. What is particularly strange is that Mexico is heavily associated with UFO activity. Many voices can be heard in the video, which of course suggests that there is more than one witness, adding credence to the claims that the video is genuine. Whoa! Alguien lo tiene que estar grabando. Si lo estabilizas o no? La misma altitud, la misma altura, chequen. Y este es el lugar por donde he grabado las luces. De hecho aquí he hecho las tomas. Ahí está. In the video, the object seems to be shimmering or spinning and changes shape very slightly throughout the duration of the video. At times, the quality of the video makes things a little unclear, but the craft does indeed seem to be moving in a mysterious and inexplicable way. Some viewers of the video have speculated that the image might be a hologram or a government airplane, but many others have speculated on something more extraterrestrial. But what do you think? <laughs> Exactamente dónde está, güey. A ver, aléjalo un poquito. Arriba del, arriba del edificio, 
en la mera esquina de este lado, arriba, arribita. Ya lo vi, ya lo vi, ya lo vi, ya lo vi. Mira. In a number of different videos shot between 2007 and 2009 over Kumbergaz, Turkey, a strange object, or number of objects, float in the sky. In these videos, which total around 45 minutes, the craft seems to repeatedly appear in similar locations throughout the three-year period. All of the clips were filmed by Yalsin Yalman, a night guard who was working in the region. In some videos, the craft seems to be ovular in shape with a distinctive appearance, while other videos show more distant views or vague shapes more akin to light formations. The videos show the craft at various points of the day, and some of the clips include other voices besides Yalman's, which means that he is not the only witness. It is also thought that other people besides Yalman saw the craft at various times. If this is the case, it seems the most consistent and constant observation of UFO activity on record, given that it happened repeatedly over such a long-term period. Several official paneling boards have been put together by Turkey, who have insisted that the films are indeed real and that they are not CGI or hoaxes. That considered, these panels are unable to offer any explanation as to what the craft, or crafts, may be. These experts believe that although the craft is clearly real, it shares no commonality with any known man-made objects such as airplanes, helicopters, balloons, or anything else. More analysis was undertaken in other countries, all of which came to the same conclusion, that the footage is indeed real and that it shows a genuine 3D craft which bears no resemblance to anything currently known or understood. <laughs> 